Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's currently Tuesday. I am doing some writing this morning. I started off the morning so well. I went to the gym, I grabbed some fresh bread. I am so blessed to live and have access to like multiple bakeries near me. One of the purest joys that I experience is fresh bread. Like when there's freshly baked bread and it's still warm and the outside is crunchy, that's just like literally one of my favorite things in life. So we had a really good start to the morning. I have a few hours of client work to get done today. Um, I want to get three hours of that done. And then I wanna get some writing done as well. I'm just, um, I'm set up to start writing now. I did not do nearly as much as I wanted to uh, this past weekend, but that's okay. I wanna aim to do at least an hour, but I kind of want to finish off um, the next two-ish scenes that I was writing. I'll probably just work on that a bit in the morning and then and if I don't get it done, I'll work on it tonight and just try to get it done before the day is over. And then I need to do some website development today as well. So I'm trying to not be working past 3 p.m. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm basically trying to work for six hours per day or less, um, not including writing. Writing is not counting right now. So that is um, the plan for the day and you're coming with me. And just before we jump into the video, I wanted to give a shout out to this video's sponsor. So this video is being sponsored by Dossier. Dossier is a perfume company that makes affordable versions of your favorite designer high-end perfumes. So both of the scents that I got from them are inspired by Maison Margiela scents. The first one that I got is Aquatic Coconut. And the second one that I got is the Woody Chestnut scent. Both of them are also unisex scents because that's kind of the scent that I tend to go for. So Dossier is great not only because they offer such affordable versions of high-end favorite scents, but they also have a really cool business model where if you don't like a scent and you decide to return it to them, they will donate it to charity rather than just throwing it out and it going directly into the landfill. Also, almost 100% of their bottles are recycled material. So everything is recycled material except for the pump. And the formulas are also cruelty-free and vegan. So they have a lot of ways that they're just kind of trying to reduce their carbon footprint and be more sustainable and just better for the environment in the planet, which I always love to see from brands. So what's also exciting is that Dossier now ships to Canada. So previously they only shipped within the United States, I believe, but now they have started shipping to Canada, which is how I got one because I live in Canada. So for all of my Canadian subscribers, you also have access to Dossier and they've started shipping to our country. So today I think I'm gonna put on Aquatic Coconut just to finish off getting ready because we're working on Between the Waves and I feel like Aquatic Coconut makes me think of Between the Waves so it'll be nice to kind of like add the scent to my environment as I work on it. So I'm gonna do aquatic coconut. So I'll leave the link to their website down below so that you can check out all of the scents that they have and all of the options and see if there's anything that you wanna try out. And again, thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I was planning on doing 20 minutes of writing. I ended up doing an hour and 20 minutes of writing, which is great. I just kept going, I got into the flow. These are the scenes that I was finishing one off and writing a new one. And these are both scenes that I knew was going to happen um, when I was letting myself pants the other day. And then basically when I was letting myself pants the story and try and figure out what was going on, I these like scenes popped up into my head. So I just finished basically those scenes that I had come up with. Um, now there's a tiny little bit of like, not a battle, but she's gonna fight with one of the other crew members who is not a big fan of her and has been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I guess technically I know what's going to happen next. I haven't planned it or anything, but it's kind of just the natural flow of events. I ended up writing 3000 words in an hour and 20 minutes because I knew what I was going to be writing and I absolutely flew through it. So I wrote 3016 words just now. I'm gonna write out the next scenes that I want to write. I might do some more writing later today, honestly, because I kind of want to get a bit further and plan out some more scenes and kind of like 
I feel like I'm flowing really well today. So that is how that has been going. I've also, I want this draft to be shorter. I don't want it to get close to 100,000 words. I think that I would like it to stop at around 80, honestly, because as I write more and as I do more first drafts, I'm starting to get to the realization that I think it's gonna be better for me to write shorter first drafts and then flesh them out. So kind of like write a shorter first draft and then fill it in with anything that I'm missing, I guess, rather than overwrite because I have a very difficult time deciding what to keep in a book and I get very overwhelmed if I have so many things going on and I don't know like which part I wanna keep and which part I wanna cut. So I honestly think it would just be a lot easier for me to start with a bit of a shorter first draft and then kind of add on to it later. We're currently sitting at 63,495 words Words, which means that if I want to end at 80,000, I have like a little over 15,000 words left to write, which is kind of insane. And I know that act two is going to go a lot faster than act one, um, just because act one is definitely a bit overwritten. And I think act three is going to be very short, but that's kind of what we're aiming for now. I imagine it'll be between 80 and 90,000 words just because of how long the first half of the book is. And then we'll go from there. But honestly, I'm feeling good. I am going to make lunch now um, and take a little bit of a break. And then I'm going to do some client work. Uh, and then I might honestly keep writing because I'm feeling good about it. So I just finished um, three hours of client work, almost three hours of client work. I, what time is it? It's 3.20. <laughs> I obviously did not get everything done before 3 p.m. That was very ambitious of me to think that I could. Although I wrote for longer than I anticipated, which I'm not upset about because it's good. And we're blowing through this story now, which is fantastic. But I, I definitely did a bit too much writing and then kind of just dilly-dallied a bit with other things. So we're a little bit behind because I wanted to do at least one hour. I mean, I wanted to do two hours of website development, but I think it's just gonna have to be one hour for today. And then I also wanted to film a video. So depending on how quickly I can film that video, which I think it'll take at least an hour to film it just because of the nature of it. If it takes less time, then I'll do more website development, but I don't think it's gonna take less than an hour. So that's the plan now is another hour of website development and then an hour uh, filming a different video. But first, before we do any of that, I'm tired. Uh, I am going to make my coffee into an iced coffee and then I'm gonna add something sweet and fun so that I can have some sort of like flavor because I kind of feel like a fun coffee today. I'm gonna sit down and probably watch a YouTube video and just chill, chug that coffee, probably do like 20 minutes or so of cleaning and then some stretching, which I honestly find that like cleaning and doing a bit of movement really helps me get back into the mindset of doing work. Um, I feel like I just need a break sometimes. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna get back into the rest of my work for the day. literally sitting on the floor right now because I couldn't figure out where to set up my camera but I've been it's actually Sunday um I've been pet sitting for my friend for the past few days now you can see one of the kitty kitties in the background maybe I haven't gotten too much writing done but I have got a lot of development done and I had an interview for a part-time kind of like like a remote web development job the plan today is to get some writing done but first I need to take the dog for a walk and then I also need to go to a pharmacy because I need to pick up um, like something to wash my hair with because I don't have any so we're gonna do that I also feel like I need to get out of the house because I just posted a video on TikTok 
asking if any authors or creatives need a website built for them because I'm currently offering just like very, very discounted rates as I try to build my portfolio and like get my freelance business going. I've put off posting this video because I was so anxious that I just wouldn't get any responses. And I've come to the conclusion that I might I might not get any responses, but I may as well just put it up anyways and then I can put up some other like TikToks as well if I um, like if I make some new websites or I want to show off some a bit more and kind of like market my business that way. But I just posted that TikTok and now I'm terrified that I won't get any replies. So I'm going to go for a walk so that I don't have to think about it. Um, on that note, if any of you need a website for anything, um, let me know because I am currently offering very, very low rates right now. So if you're interested, please let me know because I am trying to get my freelance business going and it's going to be really difficult. Um, <laughs> but even if one of you just wants like a landing page, like a single page with just a bunch of information on it, I can also do that. So let me know. <laughs> I'm anxious, so I'm going to go for a walk now, but then we're going to do some writing. Are you ready to go for a walk, Devin? Yeah? <laughs> I got back from my walk, I took a nice shower because I just felt like I needed to cleanse, you know? And water's very cleansing. So then I went to look at the form that I created when I posted the TikTok for like interest in author websites. And I had one response, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I feel like <laughs> if you've ever tried to start your own business, like getting the first official client of that part of the business is literally one of the most exciting things and like I've had web development clients before but this is just so aligned to what I'm interested in like this is an author who wants a website and has decided to reach out to me so that that's like I just I'm I'm excited it's fairly low budget which is to be expected if you're an indie author unless you're lucky or you've like put a lot of planning into kind of saving up for certain aspects of publishing generally i feel like your budget's going to be a bit lower and this is kind of something that i had to sit down with myself and think about is the fact that i specifically want to reach out to people who are probably going to be lower budget clients i feel like i don't know if it's a good business model to be honest but like artists and authors and like small businesses those are the kinds of places that i want to work for so i feel like it was good for me to go into this knowing that i was going to especially start off working with a lot of low budget clients and i have a plan to kind of allow myself to work with low budget clients but still be able to support myself and like earn money from the projects. I might go into that in more detail in another video if you guys are interested in kind of like a freelance or I don't know more business related vlog I would totally go into that. I've just made a cup of coffee it's 2 p.m. I am going to email this author that reached out to me about the website and kind of just get a conversation started. I don't really know how to do these things. I also need to finalize a contract, but the contract is going to be specific depending on the person. So I haven't really done the contract yet, but I'm going to shoot them an email and kind of see how to move forward. This is also a terrifying thing about starting a freelance business is like you are really it's all trial by fire. Like you, you're diving in head first and in a lot of situations, you don't really know what you're doing. I'm just excited to build a website for an author that's not just like me building a mock website for myself. <laughs> because that is mostly what I have been doing. And I've been creating like templates and stuff for like romance authors or self-help authors, um, but they've all been mock websites and they're, you know, entirely custom coded websites, which is amazing, but none of them are live because I can't pay for a bunch of different domains just to put up mock websites, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to email this author. I'm so excited. If this author by some miracle manages to watch my YouTube channel, I'm pumped. You are the first person that I'm working with. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I'm literally so excited. I'm going to email them, uh, get that sent off, and then I'm going to do some writing sprints. I really need to take advantage of the Forest app. I recently bought the lavender um, little like icon, so I need to like do some actual writing sprints now. Are you gonna come join me? Huh? Are you gonna come join me? Yeah? Hi. <laughs> Hello. I 
did more than 20 minutes of writing. <laughs> I set, this is the nice thing about, again, the forest app. Honestly, if the creators of the forest app ever come across my videos, can you sponsor me? Cause I freaking love your app. Like I'm obsessed with it. There is no tool that has been better for my productivity than a timer app that plants trees when you complete time frames. Like that just gets me going. I set 20 minutes and then I've mentioned this before, but I turn on a setting with the forest app where if you go over time, it doesn't just stop. It actually will start counting up. So it, it'll be like a stopwatch type situation, which is nice because if you go, if you really like get into a writing sprint, it's okay if you go over time because it will keep tracking the time for you. So I did that. And instead of 20 minutes, I ended up writing for 57 minutes. Um, I wrote a total of 1,457 words. We are at the position now where I need to write out the next few chapters. So we just, we also just passed 65,000 words in this manuscript. Oh God, so much to write. I need to write shorter manuscripts. That's a goal for my next um, book. There are a few major scenes that I know I need to write. So I'm going to go ahead and like kind of plan them out a little bit just because I have been writing really quickly as long as I have it planned out. And we're getting to the point where I think I can have everything planned out now, which is great. So I need to do a bit more planning at this point. I have a few scenes that I know need to happen. Like <laughs> I feel like the amount of things that I want to happen are, it's going to be too much for the point of the story that we're in. And I think the next few scenes are going to be the end of act two. So I need to spend some time to plan those out and then I've been powering through the writing. So hopefully once I have them planned out, I get them done quickly. So yeah, I've passed 65,000 words. I think this is something that always happens with my stories also is the first act is very long. And I feel like I put too much into the first act and the first half of act two. And then by the time I get to the last half of act two and the third act, it becomes a lot shorter because I feel like I just, I just really power through it at that point. So I've definitely noticed that my pacing is not consistent um, and it gets a lot faster as the book goes on. And that's something that's happened with previous manuscripts as well. So definitely something for me to try and think about in the future and how I can be a bit more efficient with my manuscripts. So yeah, I'm going to plan out the next few scenes. I would like to plan out all of the scenes leading up to act three. And then I also want to plan out just like the general kind of like little arc that happens in act three. So I'm going to try and do that today just so that I have that stuff planned out and ready to go um, for the start of the week. But now I need to edit this vlog and get it up because it's going up tomorrow. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if it's something that you've been enjoying. You can check out extra content and behind the scenes stuff as well as like exclusive videos and original writing over on my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me that way. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next one. Bye.